As a PC technician, you're going to be doing a lot of work with expansion boards and expansion slots. Therefore, in your job role, as well as for the A-plus exam, you need to be able to look at any expansion slot and immediately identify what type it is. In this lesson, we're going to take a look and show you the different types of expansion slots so you can do just that. The first type of expansion slot you need to be familiar with is the Industry Standard Architecture, or ISA slot. This is a really good motherboard because it shows you the two different types of ISA slots. The earliest type was the 8-bit ISA slot, then later came the 16-bit ISA slot. Notice that the 16-bit has this extra connector up here that allows us to have the full 16 interrupts. The 8-bit ISA slot could only address 8 interrupts. A long time ago, that's pretty much all we used were ISA expansion boards in ISA expansion slots. That's not true today. In fact, you probably won't do much with ISA boards at, anymore. What you will work with a lot are PCI expansion boards. Let's take a look at what a PCI expansion slot looks like. These two slots right here are PCI slots. Usually, these are colored with white plastic. Now, there is an exception. If you're dealing with a 64-bit PCI slot, they're usually colored brown. The 32-bit PCI slots are colored white. They're set back a little farther from the edge of the motherboard than an ISA slot. And notice that the connector is much shorter than a regular ISA, especially this back part of the connector right here. Much, much shorter than the back part of an ISA connector. In addition to our PCI slots, this motherboard also has an AGP slot that you can see right here. AGP slots are usually brown in color, you can see here. And notice how far back they're set from the edge of the motherboard. They're much farther back than an ISA slot, even much farther back than a PCI slot. This is where folks get tripped up from time to time. Tripped me up the first time I looked at this board, too. Older AGP slots had a little key right here. It was like a reversed PCI slot. The newer ones don't have that. And that's to keep you from installing a newer AGP board that doesn't have a notch into an older slot that it's not compatible with that does have the key. In addition, we also have an AMR connector right here. AMR connectors and CNR connectors look a lot alike. They're very small. Notice how much smaller this is than a PCI or an AGP slot. PCI is a great bus. It's been with us a long time. Recently, a new version of PCI has been released called PCI Express that dramatically increases both the speed and the functionality of PCI. Let's take a look at what a PCI Express slot looks like. Now, on this motherboard, you can see we have our standard white PCI slots, just like on the other motherboard we looked at. But then we also have these three additional connectors here. These connectors are PCI Express slots. Now, the first time I saw a PCI Express slot, particularly this one right here, my mind said, oh, that's a CNR or an AMR slot. It looks like a CNR and AMR slot, but it's not. This slot up here is a PCI Express X16 slot. This is a PCI Express X1 slot. And this is a PCI Express X4 slot. These are used primarily for video right now. However, PCI Express is designed to support all kinds of different things. It'll be interesting to see what kind of devices we have with PCI Express in the next five years. On occasion, you will see a PCI slot that looks like this, but it'll be colored orange. Not very often, and it's usually with a high-end motherboard. The orange PCI connector is actually just a standard PCI connector, except for the fact that it's been wired to also function as an AMR or CNR slot. What it does is it takes these first sets of pins and also wires them as AMR or CNR pins so that you can put a little tiny AMR card in the first set of, of pins here using only the first portion of the connector and have it function as an AMR or CNR connector as well as a standard PCI connector. In addition, as a PC technician, you're going to have to know this stuff. You're going to be installing and removing expansion boards from expansion slots. You need to know how they work, as well as what type of board goes in which type of slot.